Here's the look at yourself in the mirror question. Are you yeah. really ready? What are some tough questions someone has to ask themselves? Because we all think we're ready. We wouldn't come here or we wouldn't, whether we grew up here or not, try to do something where we don't think, our ego thinks we're ready, but maybe we're not. How do we know? It's a really good question. How do you know? You know if you're getting the kinds of responses that you're looking for, if people are interested in you, if people want to help you, if, if doors are opening for you, if your material, again, if, if you're a writer, if your material is blazing hot, not, this is like a really good draft. I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to send out this one because it's really good. I can do better, but this is really good. You have one shot. So if your material isn't there yet, I know very smart people who have fantastic connections, but they are not sending out their material until they know that it's great, until they know it's blazing hot. So if you're not getting people who want to help you, people who want to open some doors for you, if you're not getting positive responses, then you're probably not ready yet. Okay, let's take a little bit of a, a, a twist. Let's suppose you're getting all these green lights from people, but there's something in you sabotaging it. Oh, yes. Do you see that a lot? I have seen it. I've absolutely seen it. In my book, I talk about a young woman, and it was really sad. She, um, she was a waitress in Malibu, and she was an aspiring actress, and her idol came into the restaurant where she worked, and she happened to be in her section. And this young woman struck up a conversation with her idol and her idol said, what do you do? And she said, I'm an aspiring actress. And her, her idol said, well, you know what? I'm shooting in LA. Why don't you come and visit the set tomorrow? And the waitress said, oh my God, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. She was so excited. She went out with her friends the night before. She got, she drank too much. She set her alarm clock, but not for the right time. She woke up hungover. She woke up too late and she totally sabotaged herself because emotionally she wasn't ready for it. And it's heartbreaking when you see that. Right. How are, well, what are some things that you see? I mean, that's a great example. I, I've seen people that have done stuff like that. And yeah. I think a lot of it is because they're scared. Yes. but they don't want to admit it. Yes. What are some other things that you can see like, oh, that's the sabotage sort of veil working there? Sure, let me think about that. I think if somebody is being obnoxious or too pushy, that is certainly a way to sabotage yourself. If, if your material isn't ready and you're sending it out, if Another way to sabotage yourself is everybody is on social media all the time. If your digital profile is not professional, that's a way to sabotage yourself. I, um, I once was looking for, to hire an assistant and this woman had a great resume, but I looked on her Facebook page and her profile picture was her at a party with her you know, sleeve kind of off, holding a red cup, and I thought, I can't hire this woman. She, and she had a great resume, but I wouldn't hire her because she didn't have, she wasn't professional and she didn't have common sense that you don't do that. Let me think of what else it might be. When you don't deliver on what you say you're going to do, that is a huge thing. If you make promises that you can't keep, that's totally sabotaging yourself. It's better to undersell and over deliver.